This is Gavi. Valued at $66 million, he's the most expensive footballer born in 2004 and the captain of my new team. Now, throughout this video, I'll need to complete different challenges to unlock the most expensive players by age. But for that, I'll need a squad. Now, the remaining 10 spots in my squad will be decided by this 85 times 10 pack. And the problem is there might not even be a goalie in this and I'll have to use a player like Conte in that. Cure. What is that? Team of the season. Ronaldo. Oh my days. I thought we were about to get a team of the season, Ronaldo. But it's okay. We got 97 rated Ruben Diaz. Let's see what else is in this pack. Can we get a goalie, please? Is there a goalie in here? Yes, we have a goalie. We have Kaylor Navas. I'll take him. This is our starting 11. Don't ask me how I got this to 74 cam. I can't believe it either. But the first challenge, all we have to do is score an anywhere type of goal with Gavi. And I don't think I've scored an easier goal than this. Yes! Yes! I'm running into the net. Don't leave. Yes, we got it. Finally, that took way longer than you guys seen. Now, all the information I'm getting is from this website called transfermarket.com. We go to year 2003 and let's see who it is. The most expensive player born in 2003 is Jude Bellingham worth $88 million. And he's the first out of the three new additions to our team. Let's try out 2002. Pedri. Okay, so we have another Barcelona player also worth $88 million. And finally, our 2001 player, I think it's Saka, right? Yeah, Bukayo Saka worth 70. 1.5 million dollars now i know it's late in the game cycle but this card being worth 90k is absolute criminal only person who's happy about this is my accountant so we're picking this one up right here for 91k boom now i've always been a fan of pedri but in my previous video i opened a box of football trading cards and i got this and it's made me love him even more. And we're picking up his 96 rated team of the season card for 370k our biggest purchase yet get into my team 379k let's try this one there we go now saka does have a team of the season card but i never completed the objective so the best thing we can get is his 87 rated inform card boom as i've added three new players to the team the next challenge is to score with all three of them in one match and things got off to an amazing start there we go all right so we got saka done now we need pedri and bellingham to score pedri Boom! Okay, so now we just have to score with Bellingham. Man, five-star skills is so OP. Go, go. Now we just got to get Bellingham up here. Please, Bellingham, please. Carpos. Yes. No, he didn't score. Here we go. This has to be it. Has to be it. Finally! So in the 2000s, Erling Holland is the most expensive player at 165 million. There's actually a lot of different talent in the 2000s. We got Foden in there, Vlahovic, Sancho, Davies. Out of all the players born in 1999, Declan Rice is worth the most as a central defensive mid at 88 million. And finally, 1998, we all know who this is going to be. It's Mr. Kylian Mbappe at 176 million. As we can see, Holland has a bunch of different cards. He has a team of the season card, a team of the year honorable mention, a rule breaker, team of the week but i already have his best version which is his 95 rated team of the season i feel like i've been using this card every video but it's an absolute beast card and it might as well go into our team boom now in declan rice's case he does have his regular gold card he has an adidas numbers up card which has 99 passing and he has a team of the season card which i completely forgot he has so we might as well pick this one up it's only 43k boom get into my no boom now it's time to add our 1998 player he has a bunch of different cards they're all over a mill so we have his 97 rated team this season and his 97 rated team of the year card he also has a 96 rated headliner but it's not good enough for us so we're gonna go for his 97 team of the year card only because of the dynamic image 1.8 million coins don't tell my accountant about this with new players comes a new challenge, and this time we're focusing on Mbappe and Holland's pace. We have to run into the net with either of those players. This shouldn't be too hard. Oh, here we go. Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it. That was too easy. We got to get it with Mbappe as well. Oh, my God. No! That should be a red. I was going to... No. If I score this pen with Mbappe, it counts. I'm going to be cheeky. Hold on. We're going to go... No, 
he knew. That shouldn't have even been a pen. I'm counting it. Let's go upgrade our team. The next player in our team was born in 1997, and he's worth $88 million. It's Christopher and Kunku, and he was actually named the player of the season in the Bundesliga this year. We have yet to get a defender in this team, and 1996 isn't going to help us because the number one most expensive player is Rodri from Man City. He's worth $88 million. And finally, in 1995, we have Joshua Kimmich. He's worth $88 million, and he's the last player we're adding to our team right now. I've added three new players, but this next challenge is solely focused on Nkunku. Because he had four player of the months this year, I have to score four goals with him. And if I don't complete the challenge, I have to do this 86 player pick blindfolded. And the first goal was one for the books. What a goal! Let's go! That's our first out of four. But things took an unexpected turn. Don't leave. Don't leave! No! This kind of means we failed the challenge, so let's go do that 86 plus upgrade blindfolded. So I have the blindfold right here, and I'm gonna open this player pick, and I won't be able to see which player I select. So let me know in the comments if it was a dub or an L. All right, I believe it had just opened. If it hasn't, this is gonna be very awkward. So we're gonna go one, two, like this. We're gonna go a little like this, a little like this, and we're gonna select... I, I don't know. Let's do this one. Did I choose the right one? No, it's a duplicate. Take it easy, Chiellini. For players born in 1994, the most expensive player on the market is Bruno Fernandes at 30, 30, 93 million. I almost said 30 million. Born in 1993, the most expensive one is Harry Kane at 99 million dollars. And finally, the third player we're adding is born in 1992, and it's Mo Salah at 99 million dollars. So we're gonna pick up Bruno Fernandes, Harry Kane, and Mo Salah. Some people may consider these three players pen merchants. So for this next challenge, we have to win a penalty shootout with this team. We've made it into the penalty shootout. If I win the penalty shootout, all players are safe. Or if I lose, all three of these players that I've added get this card. He's going down the middle. Right. What a penalty. What in the world was that? Can we copy him? Nope. Boom. That was pretty bad, but I'll take it. All right, he didn't move his goalie last time. So I, I'm going to copy what he does with his goalie and see what, what happens. Oh, he's measuring it though, eh? I, okay, I know what to do. Boom, okay. Woo. Okay, is he going to do the same thing to the right? Boom, we got him in his head. We're in his head. We're winning this. Yes! Oh my days, I was almost gonna go down the middle. Ah, I had a feeling. Can we win it here? No, we can't, not yet, okay. No! I have to save this, where is he gonna go? What? I have to score, I have to score all three of those players get discarded. Holland, please. We're safe, we're safe. What's he gonna do? He's been going down the middle the whole time. Yes! Yes, it went in! Oh, that's so lucky. Is that a sign? He's looking left. Yes! I'm risking it. Yes! With the Panenka! We've won the challenge. Let's go upgrade our team. We have yet to get a defender in this list, and 1991 doesn't make any difference because it's another midfielder. It's De Bruyne this time at $93 million. The 1990s are really close. So we have Immobile at $29 million. We got Gundogan at 27 and Wissam Ben Yedder at 27 as well. We're still going to go with Immobile, but this is like the smallest gap I think we've seen so far. Now, the last player we're adding is from 1989. It's Thomas Mula at $24 million at the age of 32, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. It's funny because we already had Immobile in the team because we got him in the 85 times 10. So we're literally just bringing him back. Although De Bruyne has a bunch of different cards, it only makes sense to get his team of the year. I don't even think I've used this team of the year before. I think it was always too expensive for me. Now he's only 90k, so that's perfect for me and my accountant. Now, finally, the last player we're picking up is Thomas Mola. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I always get roasted for how I pronounce German names. So I think I said it right this time, 47k. Now, the next challenge is focused on Immobile. Because his name is basically immobile i have to score a goal with him without moving him the entire game for the record this was the dumbest challenge i've done yes 
Yes, I didn't move him. I didn't move him. I promise. We did the challenge. That was way easier than I actually expected. Now, the last four players I'm adding into this team are absolute goats. We're starting with 1988, which is Robert Lewandowski, worth 49.5 million at the age of 33. Now, this seems like common knowledge, but I can't believe that Kareem Benzema is as old as Messi, especially with the season he had. I thought he was like five years younger, to be honest. At 16.5 million, our next player is Manuel Neuer, born in 1986. He's 36 years old, and he's still worth that much. And last but definitely not least, we have Mr. 1985, Cristiano Ronaldo at 33 million at the age of 37. Now with FIFA 23 right around the corner, I'm curious what rating Lewandowski is going to get. Is he going to stay at 92? I'm saying he's going to get a 91 rating, but we're not using his 92 rated card. We're going to get his team of the season card. 57k, get into my team. I was going to pick up Messi's 99 rated card, but it's literally almost extinct at 7.7 .7 million. So we're going to pick up his team of the season card. 511k, get into my team. We're going to pick up Neuer's team of the season card as well. Now, I'm not even going to take a look at Ronaldo's shapeshifter price. I think it's probably like 12 million now. And obviously, we don't have enough coins for that. So we're going to take his team of the year card. This card is still absolutely cracked. See? It's time for the final challenge. And I thought, let's maybe score with every single one of the players we just added. But I don't really want to do that. So instead, what we're going to do is try and score five goals with Lewandowski. But if I don't complete the challenge or the player rage quits before I can finish it, I have to put all these players on a wheel. And whichever one it lands on, I have to put in a gold upgrade and with a quick goal my confidence was sky high goal number one there we go four more and he's leaving no 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 i thought i could get away with doing the challenge and not have him rage quit and in the first goal he already rage quit so let's go spin that wheel so whatever name it lands on we have to put in a gold upgrade and sacrifice forever just hopefully lacroix lacroix yes literally the best one we could have gotten we get lacroix i'm actually excited to discard him now i'm sorry you got to leave the club like this lacroix but it's been a pleasure take it easy i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you did you'll enjoy this video right here i'm not actually frozen got him <laughs>